and welcome to Sadaf's classroom. Today we will be looking at some word problems related to fractions. Farhan has 16 comic books. He gave one by four of the books to his brother. How many comic books does Farhan have left? So we know that initially Farhan had 16 books. And out of these 16, he gave one by four to his brother. So first we need to find out what is one by four of 16. For that we need to multiply these two values. And when we multiply a fraction with a whole number, first we convert the whole number into its fraction form by writing denominator as 1. Secondly, we check if we can simplify this fraction. Yes, we can because 16 is divisible by 4. 4 ones are 4 and 4 fours are 16. So, what is left in the numerator? 1 into 4 and the denominator is 1 times 1. Answer is 4. In denominator, if we don't write 1, it is not going to make any difference. So, he gave 4 books to his brother. Now that we know how many books he has given to his brother, we can find out how many books Farhan have now. So, 16. He had 16 books. He gave 4 books to his brother. So, now he has 12 books left. A fruit seller has 72 oranges. 1 by 8 of the oranges have turned bad. How many oranges have not turned bad? So initially a fruit seller has 72 oranges. And out of these 72 oranges, 1 by 8 have turned bad. So let's find out what is 1 by 8 of 72. Let's see if we can simplify. 8 ones are 8, 8 nines are 72. So, 9 oranges have turned bad. So, there were 72 oranges and 9 of them are bad. So, if we subtract these two values, we will know how many oranges have not turned bad. What is 72 minus 9? 63. 63 oranges have not turned bad. Have not turned bad. This is our answer. During a race, an athlete completed a distance of 12 kilometers. He ran 5 by 6 of the distance. And swam the rest of the distance. What is the distance he ran? So we know that during a race an athlete has covered a total of 12 kilometer distance out of which he has ran 5 by 6 of the distance. So let's find out what is 5 by 6 of 12. 6 1 is 6, 6 2 is 12. So, what is left in the numerator? 5 times 2. And the denominator is 1. So, we are not going to write it. 5 times 2 is 10. So, the athlete covered 10 kilometers by running. Bala saved $1.56. He spent 3 by 8 of his savings on a birthday gift for his mother. How much did the gift cost? So what were the savings of Bala? He had $56. And he spent 3 by 8 of this savings to purchase a gift for his mother. So let's find out what is 3 by 8 of 56. 8 ones are 8. 8 sevens are 56. 3 times 7. 
So Bala spent twenty one dollar to purchase gift for his mother. There were eighty kg of watermelons at a shop. Three by five of the watermelons were sold. What was the mass of the watermelons left? So we know that initially there were eighty kg of watermelons, and out of this eighty kg, three by five of watermelons were sold. So let's find out what is three by five of eighty. Five ones are five. Five ones are five. What is left? Three. Five six are thirty. Three times sixteen is left in the numerator, and the denominator is one. So we will not write it. Let's multiply six, sixteen, and three. Six three is a eighteen. One here. Three ones are three, and plus one. Forty-eight kg of watermelons were. Sold. So this is the mass of the watermelons that were sold. So initially we had eighty kg of watermelons, and after selling forty eight kgs of watermelon, how much was left? Ten minus eight is two, and seven minus four is three. So thirty two kg of watermelons were left. 